I lost count. When I was down, they wouldn't help me up. Before them niggas I ain't letting know. I had to get mine out the pot. It ain't your feet, I'm over straight to fuck. Remember nights I had to take the bus. Alright, let's first let's talk about this street degree. You're in the city, street degree. Uh, who you got with you? I got Boston George with me. You okay. know what I'm saying? I really love bringing one artist with me because basically, you know, young two young freak man. Like, of course we don't take the young off his name. 2018, he's just gonna be freak. <laughs> you know, he too old to be young freak. <laughs> you speaking into existence. I, I, I can't call him big freak because he ain't fat and he can't call him young. Freak. <laughs> you got speaking it to speak into existence, man. You know what I'm saying? So it's just gonna be free. So in 2018, it's yeah. gonna be free. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But young too, you too. Man, like, I, man, I, I came around here, dog, and it's like all I ever got was love from him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Freak man been all over the United States with me, man. And yeah. Everywhere he go, man, people just adapt to him. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I say it, 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 it was just something cool. It was just something cool that you can come to, a, you know, to a state and just meet some people everywhere you go. It's just good. Yeah, real recognize when y'all came, you know, when young two of them came down to Duval. Duval, a long time ago. Man. And said, who is this little guy? They was just so hype and didn't just want to be in the rap game. But the rap game is, is crucial. It's Man. worse than the streets. Man. It's worse than it's the, the streets. It's the same players. You know? Cause sometimes people feel like they could just come in here and you got a good song and you make it, man. This take a lot of work ethics. You gotta be willing to lose everything you've got just to win. Damn. Mm -hmm. You know, and a lot of people don't do that, you know. Being out yeah. here on this road, we done miss our, our, our beautiful children first smile. We done miss their first step. And the more you hit the streets, is the closer you put your lady to another man, the closer you put your kids to a stepdad. Facts. So, you know, if, if you come out here and you out here with out here for greatness, then you have to quit and go back home. Thanks. And it gets frustrated. Sometimes artists don't want to get up. Time to go do a radio interview. You gotta wake them up four or five times. It's like you're pushing more than them. But when you want something more than somebody else, it's not gonna go nowhere. Exactly. And um, you know, we've been on the road since Monday. And like I said, it is hard when you gotta get up. By the time you go to sleep, leave the club, it's time to get back up and hit the road and go to another city. Mm. But in order for you to win, you gotta sweat. Yeah. You know, if you're digging the ditch, man, you're gonna be dirty yeah, and everything, yeah. but when you get through digging the ditch, man, you're gonna exactly. be like, what did yeah. I accomplish? Yeah. And a lot of people don't wanna put in that work. They want it to come through the internet. But when you get famous by the internet, then you're only famous in, in, as long as the internet lets you. Yeah. yeah. Cause the internet never lost. <laughs> They're undefeated. Mm -hmm. The internet is undefeated ever since it came out. So you can just go on the internet and get your time, get your shine. Yeah. But in a minute, it's gonna be gone. You gotta go there and kiss the babies and hug the old people and everything. You gotta All go that. to the lifestyle, the barber shop, everything. You gotta go mess with these people so they know you're out here for real. You gotta get in these streets. You know, a lot of people don't feel like they have to do that, but they got to. Yeah, I still see you out here, baby. Like, you could probably be. And you, you is a big DJ, but you could be the next cat at this name, but I still see you out here in the trenches with the artists. Like, damn, big out here in the trenches, really in the streets, like, touching the people. Like, why you choose that over, like, you could be doing anything else? Because when I was coming up in the game, and nobody helped me. Yeah. And um, I'm a little different from a lot of DJs because I came up in the streets and I watched these dudes spend all their money just trying to get this dream. Yeah. Some of them it didn't happen for them. But yeah. they're dead broke trying to. Mm -hmm. People don't see those guys. Mm -hmm. All they've seen is the one that had some relationship with somebody. Most of them know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody. Yeah. And, and, and that person drag them up to the top. And then the person that really, really putting in the work and got good music, they just ain't got no contacts, they ain't got no budget. They're just left alone to drive up on the side of the road. Yeah, right. And I feel like that is so bad. You know, I make good money, I live good, and I'm thankful to God. But I just felt like, you know, when I was in this game and I was running to the car, you know, with my fist on my pocket, them kids look up at me. Yeah. They want they didn't want to be like Michael Jordan, they want to be like me. So yeah. now that I make a few dollars and live in the suburbs and my kids go to private school, I can't turn my nose up at these kids because I destined to tie together. I started that. Yeah. I started the trend. Yeah. So I might be in my fifties, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, them young kids, that's too bad, but we started the trend. Who yeah. started it? We did. Yeah. These kids are just as bad as us. Now they're just on steroids. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They just yeah. kosher. They're gonna, you know, they shoot somebody be 15, 16 times. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's different from us. Man, OG Big Ranking is in the building right now on the real underground radio, man. We in the streets. Uh, and I'm, I'm gonna take it back, man. Big Rank, for the people who don't know who you is, man, give a little background who you don't work with. I know you you was like president over CTE and you was slipping, dealing with slipping slide. You was responsible for like YFN, Lucci, and like a, run down some of these names, man. 
Man, the whole thing about it, boss, anybody who is in the in the music business, if they have them Google and find out who I am today, oh. then I don't even need to be messing with them. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because everything I want to know in this business, I'm going to Google. Yeah. Google is one of the greatest things they ever gave to And they trying to restrict the internet now, dude. <laughs> it's money. It's you know, people is using the internet to make millions. I guess them people say, okay, I'm going to grab a couple of dollars from them. Yeah. Really, dog. As long as you're making money, you don't mind paying money. When you're yeah. making no money, it becomes a problem. Because the internet ain't no good to you. Why pay for it? You ain't making no money. Thanks. You feel me? So they understand what's going on. Mm -hmm. Me, I'm just a street nigga, dog. It took me a long time to even figure out how to work an iPhone. My, my kids and my grandkids showed me more about what to do with it, and I learned on my own. Yeah. You feel me? Because I feel like. You, if you don't change with the time, the time gonna leave you alone. Yeah. And we can't sit here and talk about, oh man, I just don't understand the music nowadays. That's what the older people say when we were doing our little training. I don't understand what they doing. You know what I'm saying? We just gotta fit it. Remember when, you know, like I was telling my dog, when, when, when we was hustling, we had to go to Miami, we had to go drive to go get our, our, our pack and, and, and drive up the highways and byways. Hiding from the police. Now these young, 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 they just go to CVS and get their pay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's easy now. You know what I'm saying? But time changes. Yeah. You feel me? Hey. Well, you know, we just got to teach them, man. We just got to try to teach teach them the best we can. I know it get crazy out here, and I know a lot of times we be like, we older guys be like, man, I, I don't know what to do, man. I can't take this no more. This is crucial. But I feel like we just got to numb it down a little bit, man. Deal with our little nephews, deal with our sons. Instead of march for police killings, I'm like, let's try to teach them not to get into that problem when the police be shooting. You know what yeah. I'm saying? We got to spend more time with the kids now. Yeah. It's our time to teach them. Like how the OGs teach us, yeah. it's our time to teach them. And we feel like we too busy. We too busy to match with them now. I can be and that's not cool. Bigger is the OG, you know what I'm saying? Bigger is the OG. What the people don't really know, man, Bigger, Bigger from Jamaica, right? Yeah, I'm from Jamaica. <laughs> yeah, Bigger from Jamaica. Yeah, man. He started out uh, as, as, a, as, a, as a rapper. I don't know if people know that. <laughs> <laughs> You thought I was yeah. a rapper. I got, I got two or three little songs, man. <laughs> Look, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. I'm putting that rotation on the real underground. Yeah. And, and it, it was crazy because um, you know, I grew up in Chicago and I, I saw this dude the other day. He said, man, remember you opened for Yellow Man? And uh, uh, Barry Simon one time, yeah. and he was telling me the whole show. Cause, you know, we used to have a little three-piece band. Me and my father mm -hmm. told him, we got the bass player, you know, and um, the bass player. We were like three in the drummer. <laughs> I got to do the keyboard. That's all we had. Yeah, had a band. Yeah, we used to go. Oh, you just had no rapper. You was like, you was just going around. We just have concerts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We used to put on shows, man. So you got into the, you went from the rap to the DJ and, uh, yeah, I, um, a friend of mine named Billy, you know, my, my, my name is Billy too, so a, a friend of mine, he was an older dude, and he had a club called the Grill. Mm -hmm. And every time the band plays, when the band breaks, they tell a DJ to go in there and play the music, so the DJ didn't show up. So, you know, they used to call me Fathead, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so they said, Fathead, go in there and play a song. I went in there and I put the song in, but every time, I'm trying to work the mixer, but you know, I wasn't used to it, so I'm asking on the mic like, Man, man, where, where, where's the engineer? But I'm just joking while I'm doing it. Everybody was just laughing. They were like, hey, man, you sound good up here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, you got a good personality. And from there, man, I just went ham with it, you know? Yeah, big rank in the DJ. Then you, you branched out from there. And I seen that you, you own the club. Yeah, I used to own a club, man. Me and, me and my family own it. I did everything. I, I did everything in the music business. I we, see. We came in the music business with a big sound system all the way up, speakers all the way to the roof. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's how we came in, because I'm a Jamaican, so we had big sound system. And my uncle and my cousin, man, you know, I had the voice. They called me the million dollar voice, because I'm I'm one of those kids, <laughs> man, like um, when I was like three yeah, months old, when I was born, you know, I, all my, none of my organs were, so they thought I was going to die. So they Damn. dug my grave and everything to bury me, everything. I was just sitting at the foot of the bed waiting to die to bury me. They dug my little grave and everything. And it, you know, in Jamaica, just wait around to bury, you know. So how you bury back? Man, it was a, my grandmama and, and two of her friends boiled a whole bunch of bushes. They said, I peed for four hours. Oh. Just off and on. Those are babies like they Buddha. Peeing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now uh, they used to call me dead and wait. Yeah. So I always, you know, my family always knew I had it to do something. Cause, Cause they ranking me something you know, big like, right? In Jamaica, right? Oh, you ain't whenever you're doing something, they put a little rank on you. Rank it. Yeah. See, they're ranking. They put that Mississippi, and I see the game ranking. I'm like, oh, that's my city right there. Yeah. Yeah. 